Hi, it's Chrissy, Christina Biquette, and I'm here uh, in northern Colorado on this cold, snowy day. I'm getting ready to go in and buy some groceries, but I wanted to just really quickly do this video. Um, I had done another video sitting here, and it made me think about another thought that I was having, and it's about positive thinking, um, because I know a lot of people don't always get that they can change their lives and it, it truly is all about having control over your mind. Um, if you want to change your life, change your mind. It's just as easy as that. But you have to do it and you have to concentrate on it and you have to focus on it and it is work but it's well worth it. Um, a few years ago after the, uh, <laughs> the crunch with the real estate um, I went from being a real estate investor and being on top of the world and having a lot of fun with that to really being in just the pits. Uh, a lot of different things were happening to the negative in my life and I didn't know what to do about it. So I learned though that you can change your life by changing your mind. I, I kind of knew that I could but I never really was able to experience it. I had tried and tried and and until I really got my head behind it, I wasn't able to get forward with anything that I was doing. Um, so little by little, over doing a lot of training, a lot of um, um, reframing, and a lot of other techniques, I finally started seeing the results. But I wanted to just tell you of a real quick thing that happened to me actually last night. It was last night. Yes, it was last night. I was drinking a glass of wine. A friend of mine had, had died um, yesterday, and I, I was just drinking a toast to her. Um, and I was also doing some work on my computer at the time. So I had put my wine glass down, and it was red wine. And um, this was a fairly new computer, so I really wanted to keep the computer nice. But I, I had the thought in my head that you better be careful of that wine glass because you don't want to spill red wine all over your keyboard. And that was kind of a, an unusual thought to have because I always eat and drink beverages when I'm working on my computer. It's just the way I do it. But anyway, I had that thought. But through all the training that I've gone through and all the realizations that I've had about your thoughts truly creating things, I quickly turned that thought around and said, hey, don't think about that. You don't want to have that happen to you. Um, and then I went about my way. But what, what ended up happening is probably an hour, an hour or two hours later, I took a drink of my wine. I went to put it down and something happened with my finger and it, it, it jarred the glass and the glass splashed wine all over the wall and it splashed it onto my computer. Now, the wine that got on the computer was not very much. I was able to be very careful and I was able to clean it up. Now the stuff on the wall, uh, red wine on a light colored wall, I, I had to work to get that off real quick. But it set me to thinking and realizing that over time and over having positive thinking, knowing that your thoughts do create things and switching really quickly, um, pivoting is what, what we call it, pivoting that thought from negative into positive actually, I believe, helped me from having the total disaster of dropping that wine glass on my computer to just having a small spray. It's been like that. I have found that the faster I stop a negative thought, the lesser um, that negative thought actually happens. It either doesn't happen at all if I'm fast enough or, um, and non-emotional, if you don't put emotion behind it, because when you are creating things, if you want to create something good, you want to put emotion into it. You want to think about the good thing, and you want to put emotion into that good thing, and the emotion is what drives it into actually turning into something that's happening. So as I was having the thought about the wine, I wasn't really that attached to it, and I really didn't have a lot of emotion in it, so it, it deflated pretty quickly. Um, so, you know, you can call it craziness or not, but I have seen over the years, I have seen a definite change in the negative things that happen to me. Very seldom does anything negative happen to me at this point um, in time, and it's getting better and better all the time. 
So I just wanted to share that with you. And if you just follow me, I have other ideas and things that I talk about. Um, you can look at my blog. You can look at and follow me on Facebook. Below this video, I'm sure, wherever you're seeing it, there should be some writing somewhere, um, if it's not in a caption on this video, where you can connect with me. But I'm all about freedom. I'm about joy. I'm about raising the vibrational frequency on this planet and helping everybody here to experience more freedom and joy. Because when you experience freedom and joy in your life, you expand. And when you expand, you are raised and happiness happens for everybody. So that's me, Christina Biquette. And I will just see you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.